Hey guys, I'm Mikey Mabaki from the video guys. Today we're going to talk about real fast is a video on how I turned my 25,000 coins earlier into 132,000, which honestly I turned that into 132,000 in like 10 minutes. And you might be like, okay, how did you do this? And this is not based on any kind of skill. This is based on luck. But I want to go ahead and show you something that a lot of people might not really think about because of the fact of how, you know, mutt is. But this actually is a good way to maybe, if you have a lot of extra training, a lot of extra coins to go ahead and do so. So guys, real fast, if you're not done so already, I actually have four videos on my channel, five videos today, because I went ahead and uploaded some videos to my live stream earlier. Well guys, if you have not checked out my live stream, you don't know what my live stream is. I stream on twitch.tv slash TV, the link down below in the description. Go ahead and go over there and hit that follow button because I am going to go ahead and every single video shout out everybody who did follow recently. So again, if you want to shout out, whatever may be the case, go ahead and do that. So K Dive One, J Miz, Big Dog Twenty Five, and um, simply JC who went ahead and followed today. So again, go ahead and hit that follow button if you've not done so already. But guys, again, I saw with twenty thousand coins, I was able to get around almost two thousand training. And what I went ahead and did was I did the uh, the pack in the store, which is this one right here, theme diamonds uh, P, uh, two set piece. Now, in order to make your coins back or break even, you only need an 87 plus overall. Now, right now, it seems like the, these pack odds are actually pretty decent, um, probably because it's brand new to the store. EA wants people to go ahead and spend money and open these up. But again, as long as you pull an 88 plus, you go out 87 plus, you make your coins back, slash make a profit. Now you're gonna see on this one, more often than not, I'm gonna make my profit back. Starting off right away, I actually did bad. I wanna go and show you, yes, you can pull bad cards. Nonetheless though, earlier when I first started doing this, as I pull a 91, now this is pure profit. I was gonna quick sell it, no reason to quick sell it. 50,000 coins right there, right? That's pure profit. That's Bam, you just made 50,000 coins. You doubled your coins back plus more. Now I started with 2,000 earlier. I got up to 15,000. Main reason why was because my first like four or five pools were 90 overalls. Now, of course, it's not gonna happen for everybody, but based on my analysis, based on doing this like set like 100,000 times now, more often than not, you're gonna pull something every two or three pools that makes your coins back if not gives you a 91 overall like you saw now again this is not guaranteed i don't want to go ahead and sit here and be like you know you're guaranteed to make coins but if you have some extra training you have some extra coins you want to go ahead and make some you know risk it for the biscuit here this is not a bad idea as you saw i pulled a 91 so far so right now we're sitting at 50,000 coins I'm keeping that card. I'm not quick selling it. I'm not re-rolling. The idea when it comes to gambling is never gamble too much. 89, this is pure profit. That's 3,570 uh, 3, training. Bam, that's pure profit, right? I do the same thing again. Right here, we get an 89. Another pure profit. I'm going to go ahead and quick sell these. I could sell these on the market. I'm not going to. You know why? I'm looking for the 91s. And again, I already got one. I have that stored right now at this moment, right? I have a 91 overall. That 91 overall I have, I just doubled my coins. I invested in to this, right? I could sell it whenever I want. I could keep the card if I want to, right? That right now is in my binder. Bam, I invested into that. Now I've doubled my coins. So anything else I make right here, I've already doubled my coins. Now I'm even making more profit another 91 overall oh sorry this 86 i thought it was 91 my bad as you as you're going to tell guys i get two more 91 overalls uh that's how i get 130,000 coins you got 350k cards um and again not every time you're not going to make your coins back every single time but i feel like this set there's so many sets in the game well not i keep calling these sets they're packs training packs there's so many training packs in the game that really you do not make your coins back on them ever they're not really the greatest and they really just aren't worth it to do for some reason it seems like the this one is actually not that bad yes you will lose some but you also will gain some now personally in the game right now i'm going to look at this after we get through these uh pack opening in the game right now there's not like a crazy crazy amount of you know cards that could be crazy for this of course there are some there are others that you know all these prices are a little bit lower. The training is what we're looking for. We're not really looking for the uh, prices. We're looking for the 91 overalls. Um, now, again, there's 32 different sets in the game. 
which means a crap ton of cards you could pull out of this now could you pull nothing but 80s yes that's very possible or not sorry, not very possible that is possible because of course that is technically a part of the game is you could pull crap pulls will you based on my doing this again set hundreds freaking almost like a hundred times now uh earlier and then right now i really do not think you will go ahead and pull constantly bad pulls now you could and again that's why i said if you're doing this you're trying to risk it for the biscuit you're trying to make that bank back keep in mind don't go all in i'm not saying sell your team and do this i'm saying if you have some extra coins like i did twenty five thousand coins what is it who cares if you lose 25k if you lose 25k okay you you try you attempt it and bam now right there that guy and the first guy that's a hundred thousand well it's around eighty eight thousand coins after tax eighty eight thousand coins right there for two players okay so i started with 25k now i'm keeping that card right so for example right now before i open this up i had five thousand over oh, around five thousand um training and two 50k cards i saw with 25k i have two 50k cards and 5,000 training right right now as you can see at the moment i have 5,000 training and two um 91 of all cards that sell for 50k each okay so i have around 90,000 coins before tax i saw with 25k i'm keeping those two cards i'm still opening these up trying to see if i can get a third one because if i get a third one i'm even making more bank right I'm continuously adding more to my 25k investment that's making me so much coins back now again can you do this on a large scale and keep ripping these and hoping you make a lot back yes should you i would honestly keep it as a small investment maybe spend 25,000 here and there put it in there don't go all in though i'm, I'm not saying these packs are going to guarantee you something amazing could they they definitely could Will they? It all depends. I mean, all you need is an 89 overall and you're back up to like 39, pretty much 4,000 training. All you need is a 90 overall, 91 overall. You're back up to like 6,000 training. You get a 92. I don't, I'm not sure if there's 92s in the set. Keep that in mind. I haven't I haven't looked at the sets much. Again, we're going to look at the sets once uh, we get through these packs. Once we get my another 91 overall, I'm going to go ahead and do that because again, that's where we got the 130,000 coins from. And again, you will get a lot of these, my heroes, 86 overalls that do, uh, are not really that helpful. But the point is why we're doing this is again, for this one right here, which is a 91 overall, very, very nice. Um, and again, now I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to my Madden screen. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we got right here. So let's go ahead and switch back over to Madden. And this is what I'm talking about. So if we go ahead and go into sets, we can see real fast in the sets. Uh, theme, yeah, theme diamonds right here. So if we go through each set, we can see what the highest overall card, right? Akeem Hicks currently goes for 60,000 coins. If you pull Akeem Hicks, you get 60,000 coins. Same concept I just looked at, same idea, right? Obviously, 30,000 coins, you don't want to pull these guys. These guys are great for training because you make your coins back every time you do them. But obviously, we're not looking at those guys. Tower Eifert, bam. That's not only your coins back and a profit. That's also a crap ton of training. 9,000 training. Very nice. Again, even if you wanted to go ahead and you know pull this set, put 25K in, you could make your coins back instantly without even having to pull anything crazy. If you pull, let's say, again, like Andy Dalton, for example, 30,000 coins, I make technically a 5K profit. I'm not saying I'm happy about it, but I'm saying I make my coins back plus profit. Pretty much with how small of an investment this is to put in, it's really not a bad idea to just go ahead and try it out and see what you pull. If you pull something good, awesome. If you don't pull anything good, you're 20, 25,000 coins, you'll live to, you know, you'll live another day. Nonetheless, so if you pull Josh Gordon, that's a profit. If you pull, you know, Joe Hayden, that's not a profit. Quick sell him. You get like around uh, 4,000 training back. You keep going. Again, guys, I'm not saying this is going to be a million coin, you know, method here. I'm not giving you that. What I'm saying is this is a really good just base method to just go ahead and make some free coins. Um, you can, again, look at, at this on a large scale. But if you look at the large scale, it's not going to be 100%. You're 
you might lose some coins. So I wouldn't do that. I would just keep it on a small scale. And that's my video, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe button. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Again, guys, make sure you go ahead and follow me on twitch.tv slash TV. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.